When it comes to Cartagena cultural sites there is none more rich in Cartagena history than the monument of India Catalina. So, who exactly was Catalina and what was her role in the history of this Atlantic region we now know as Cartagena? Catalina, an indigenous girl was the daughter of a local chief. In 1509 she was abducted at the age of 14 by the Spanish conqueror Diego de Nicuesa. Catalina was taken to Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic where she was taught the Spanish language and adopted the Christian faith. From that point she only wore Spanish clothing but was still considered a slave. She later married Alonso Montañez, Pedro de Aradia's cousin. In 1533 at the age of 38, Catalina returned to her home of what we now call Colombia when she served as an interpreter to Pedro de Aradia during the Spanish conquest of the region. For her role, she is today seen as an illustrious representative of indigenous culture, who prevented the tribes of these areas from being totally devastated by the colonizers. Catalina's real name was unknown. She was called Catalina by the Spaniards from the time of her abduction. The name Catalina appeared in a letter from Pedro de Aradia to the King of Spain in 1533. This is most likely why we now know her as Catalina today. Yo soy Catalina. The monument to India Catalina was sculpted by Eladio Gil Zambrana. Gil was born in Pruna, a province of Seville, Spain in 1929. In 1961 Gil emigrated to Cartagena where he immediately entered the School of Fine Arts as a sculpture and painting teacher. His sculpture of Catalina was presented to the public in 1974. Although Eladio Gil died in January 2011, his memory lives on in Catalina and his other artworks. If you'd like to see this monument to Catalina, it is located just north of the clock tower about 700 meters or a 13-minute walk. Or even easier, catch a taxi. Once in Cartagena, it won't take long for you to see just how deeply entrenched Catalina is in the local culture. These little statues are everywhere. The Cartagena Film Festival has adopted the statue as its awards. Netflix has a series called The Queen and the Conqueror. The Story of Catalina, the series is however loosely based on reality but it is an entertaining television show. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more cultural sites in Cartagena.